welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and a slightly different video from us. I watch another channel here on YouTube called It's a Stakesy Thing. I've mentioned them before and I will link them in the description box below for you to go over and check them out. They're a great channel. They do a whole load of different things. Um, they like to go out and about vlogging. Uh, in the summer they went to wildlife parks and vlogged there. Then they ate out a lot during the eat out to help out is that what it was called you know the the government half price eating out scheme so they were reviewing different restaurants and things there uh, they, they just do all sorts of things but one of the things that they do is they get a snack box every month and in that snack box is a whole load of snacks from different countries so one month it was france another one that was Sweden, that sort of thing. And they basically taste the products that they get in front of the camera to let everybody know what they think of them. And I thought that was a really fun idea. But it got me thinking about how it's all very well trying snacks from different countries, but even within the UK, there's so many different snacks from the different nations. So I got in touch with them and asked them how they would feel about collaborating so that I sent them snacks from Scotland if they sent us snacks from Yorkshire. And that's what they've done. So that's what this video is. It's a collaboration with It's a Stakesy Thing. And we are going to be trying the Yorkshire snacks that they have sent to us. Now, I've never opened the box, so I've got no idea what's in there. We're going to try it with non camera and we're going to give you our honest opinion. Please don't take offence if we don't like anything. It's nothing against Yorkshire or the snacks or anything. It's just our individual taste. Now, Jack's working, so he won't be getting involved in this. It'll be me, Granny Annie and Abby. Now, Brooke wants to take part as well. However, Brooke is the fussiest eater on the planet. So she will be in the video, but we won't be forcing her to taste anything that she doesn't want to. She might taste some things, she might taste nothing. That is yet to be seen. So, I'm going to get on with it, but I just wanted to let you know, for anyone who is new to this channel, how do I put this? <laughs> I've not got any teeth. These are false and they don't fit me. So when I'm eating, they fall out. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, I can't have any teeth in when I'm eating. So I tend not to eat on camera as a rule. However, Rannach is drinking on camera. Quite finished, Rannach? Typical. The dogs probably will interrupt us as well. When there's food on the go, the dogs are usually there. So yeah, I won't have any teeth in, so I'm going to do my best to just show me from there up, because I don't want to offend anyone. Um, if you do accidentally see me gumsy, I'm sorry, but I will try my hardest just to, to be from there up. Because I want you to be able to see my reaction, and I've got quite an expressive face, so my eyes will tell you all you need to know. We're looking forward to this. It's been in the making for a wee while, and we're just so excited to do it. So let's get into it. Right, so we are all ready now, and as you know, I'm covering my mouth so that you don't see my gumsiness. Um, hopefully you can still hear me okay. Right, for anyone who is new to the channel, hello, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Fiona, this is Brooke, this is Abby, the teen, this is Granny Annie, my mum, this is Willa's butt, <laughs> this is Molly's head, this is Molly's head down here, big <laughs> Rannach's there, the heavy breathing's at this yeah, side, the heavy breathing's Rannach, and, and Clyde will Clyde. probably pop his head in at Hi. some point. I have got the box here. I have not looked in it yet, so there's <laughs> <Yeah>. there's <laughs> Oh, we've got some information here. Oh, wait, random. We've got a Yorkshire postcard. I thought you were going to say Yorkshire puddings. I was about to go. Yeah, oh, yes. Yes. Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire tea towel. That's bad. Oh, oh, that was really nice. I didn't think nice. to do anything like that for you. Sorry. She's tight. She's Sorry. Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living up to the stereotype. I apologise. Oh, oh, oh look. That's so We've got, it's a sexy thing, badges as well. That's how you know you've made it in YouTube when you've got your own merch. Oh, thank you, Paul. Very good. Look at that. Abby's rocking the badge. Yes, right, We've got roast lamb and mint Yorkshire crisps. Nope. Let's see. Mm, now, this will be interesting because I'm not a lamb fan, and but I, I am a crisp it. fan. Award winning Yorkshire crisps. Produces deliciously Moorish luxury hand-cooked crisps 
and perfectly popped corn from the heat of God's own country. With our mission to source all of our ingredients and packaging from local producers, our celebrated crisps are made from carefully selected potatoes that are grown by local farmers on the chalky soils of the Yorkshire Wolves. Wol mm -hmm. Our Yorkshire popcorn is made from the world's finest corn and is popped to perfection here in Yorkshire too. Granny Annie's desperate to go well, first. They smell them interesting. Yep, they smell nice. Ooh. Okay. Not overpower them at all. Okay. That would get a thumbs up from me because the mint, I'm not getting a full right. pack of the mint. Excellent. So, right, Abby? And I wouldn't have bought them thinking yeah, they were going to be minted. You get quite scared. Still weird. They're very subtle. They're actually quite nice. Yeah. I would never buy them ever. No, no, I would now. But you would now? Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to try it. I take it you're not trying the brick? No. <laughs> hmm. What did you say? So I was first, so they didn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice. You I'll get just them. double check. <laughs> you get the mint aftertaste. Right, so Ooh. sticking with that, we're going with the Yorkshire popcorn and it's luxury toffee popcorn. <gasps> yes. yes. Brooke will well, like that. this. <laughs> So oh, that first thing. Very posh. Very posh packaging. Yeah, in my mouth. <laughs> oh. Smith, Pook. That's it. That smells like. Oh. Oh, yum. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that does smell nice. Like face the camera. Face the camera and let them see. We got the pub. <laughs> Is it nice? Mm. -hmm. So you've not got a funny face, so that's a definite hit. Mm -hmm. It's like the soggy stuff you get in was. Mm -hmm. Okay, Abby. Oh. <laughs> okay, Abby. Oh. Oh. I'm out that size and she misses. <laughs> nice. It's not very, mm. it's not a massive Should I not have a wee glass of wine or something to change my palate? <laughs> no? Well, look at Will up there! Oh! 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 I would say, not quite on a par with butter kiss. I think butter kiss still up a little bit higher, mm -hmm. but it's very tasty. Do you? Mm -hmm. I don't think. I think Portuguese is just a little bit better, but that is good. No, no, that is mean. nice for being a locally produced. That's mm. beautiful. Mm. Mm. Very mm. nice. Let's well, move to Yorkshire. Let's move to Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? Licorice root. Robert <laughs> and Heather Copley are growing licorice root on their farm near Pontefract. You were right, Mum. Yes. I thought Pontefract was in Wales. No. If you eat the root straight from the ground and chew it slowly, a fresh taste somewhere between it's sweetness a, and salt emerges. It is amazing. Ooh. I don't know if I want to eat it. I young. loved that when I was young. Oh my god. You can have oh, that. Oh wow. Like wow. <laughs> You've taken me back 60 years. Mm. Just took how sweet that is. It tastes like when I was younger that it Come on, say it! When I was younger. <laughs> so, that was, it reminds of when she was young playing with a friend at the park and they would play fight and she would end up eating the bark off the ground. Oh, see? What are the nuts that you get at Halloween? Monkey nuts. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that monkey tastes nuts. like monkey nuts. Never tried it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Isn't it sweet though? Very sweet. Very Abby. sweet and bitter at the same time. I don't think I could no, have a lot of it. Granny. Okay, the dogs are chewing it. <laughs> well, I love it. <laughs> my vote. Not, not my cup of tea. Neither. Right, let's go. What am I getting next? Oh, a Yorkshire flapjack. Oh, I really want to try that. I really, really, really want to Correct. try that. Yorkshire flapjack has stemmed off a family recipe which has been passed down three generations and still to this date they are using the finest ingredients in traditional small batch methods. Ooh. I'm having the rest of that bar. You like that? I'm having the rest of that. Granny. 
Oh, Abby loves that. You can't see her face for the dog's big head, but yeah, she likes that. Very good. Oh, it's strong. That's definitely not like the hot, the bot, short no. bot. No. Pleasantly surprised no, at that. Mm. Isn't that nice? <laughs> the texture is so much better mm -hmm. than a bot than a bot flapjack. That's like it's been homemade. Mm -hmm. mm. It has. <laughs> You're right, Abby. That is nice. Oh, now I've heard of this parking. A hundred year old family recipe of this regional sticky ginger delicacy. Oh, look at the roots, she's ginger. <coughs> Delicacy is made of flour, oatmeal, black treacle and syrup mm -hmm. and is an award winning signature product. One of the seriously good things about Yorkshire parking is that the treacle in, the in this recipe caramelises and hardens during baking. In keeping with tradition, before it leaves the bakery it is kept to rest to allow it to come again. Please excuse the laughing. Abby has got Whoa. such a dirty name. <laughs> this is what you call cops. This is cops in here. Twelve seconds later. Well, I read it. <laughs> this is where the caramel softens. <laughs> I'm so happy. Giving each piece the perfect crumbly stickiness. <laughs> Delicious caramel sticky sauce. It preserves the Yorkshire pocket cake for up to 12 weeks from baking. That's very cute. That feels like gingerbread. Yeah. You like to tell the truth, yeah? Uh huh. It's a bit bloggy. Right. <laughs> mm. Maybe the butter for any better? Mm hmm. Like, oh, it's very like. It's like gingerbread. It feels like gingerbread. It's like cake. Right. That's not like cake. Right, okay. Can I try a tiny bit? I like that. Like it oh, this is impressive if Brooke tries this. It tastes like a gingerbread. Well done. Brooke. No. No? I'm going to try it without. No, I don't like that. That's nice with butter. I like it with the butter, but it's very mm. bloggy. To me, it's very. Oh. Mm. It's no spongy enough for me. I prefer that texture. Yeah, <laughs> gingerbread because it's like got a sort of greasiness about it, mm. and I like that. I like it on its own, but yeah. even better with the butter. Right? Oh, yummy comb! <gasps> that sounds so Puff good. Gandhi. <gasps> Honeycomb bar smothered in sea salty caramel Belgian oh. milk chocolate. Oh. oh, that sounds so good. Oh, the oh. smell. Oh, sorry, Abby. That's oh. a good. That's a good name. Yummy comb. Yeah, good name. Look, you'll like that. I like caramel. That's strange. Is, it, is that chocolate orange? No, it's no. caramel. Caramel, salty caramel. Try it on camera. <laughs> Why have I got a hit of orange? Let them see what you think. There's a verdict. Orange. You think it's like orange as well? It is definitely orange. Right? Okay. It's mm. orange. Oh, that's nice. It has got an orange flavour. Uh -huh. Wait till the end. Oh, I think it's sort of caramel. I love the bite of milk. That's really nice. Mm. Next. Oh, 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 yes, please, yes, please, yes. But that's what I saw, Brooke. Fox's Viennese chocolate oh. dipped fingers. Is that from Vietnam? <laughs> <laughs> Vienna, maybe. <laughs> Foxy's Biscuits is a British biscuit yeah, Sorry. Foxy's Biscuits. From England, Foxy's Biscuits. Is a British biscuit manufacturer. <laughs> <laughs> manufacturer. Founded by the Fox family in a terrace house, 17 Woodacre Street, mm. Batley in the West, Yorkshire, in 1853. The head office and main factory are still based in the town. Wow. Sorry, but you are. Like that is so nice. Okay. <laughs> what do you see? Is that, is that a yes? Look at Molly! Look at Molly! Oh, <laughs> Molly! Dance! <laughs> <laughs> right, what does Granny Annie think? Mm. 
That is nice. It's lovely. Nice. Yeah, oh, Brooke said that's good. Yeah. That's a good thing. Very nice. That's what I was looking for. I'm a bit worried about these. You, were, you were hoping for yeah. it. Crack cakes. What are they? Licorice. licorice. I'm not having it. I'm not a licorice fan. Wait. I will taste it, but I'm not a licorice Again, fan. Again, it's no light like licorice. Licorice. Up here. Haribo makes Pontefract cakes at their factory in Pontefract. Oh. Where's oh. <laughs> Pontefract cakes, also known as Pomfret mm. cakes and mm -hmm. Pomfret cakes, are a type of small, roughly circular, black sweet measuring these two centimetres wide and one oh, fifth oh. inch, four millimetres thick, mm. made of licorice, originally manufactured in the Yorkshire town of Pontefract. You didn't tell me there was going to be nuts in it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell her that was going to be much. <laughs> you like the smell? I'm not going to try it. It's not like licorice, like you know, licorice. No. No. Texture, not down, something. It does feel like feel, jelly. It feels different. Do you want to it's try made it? It's like a horrible. Mm -hmm. Do you no. want to try it? No. I'll give it a go. Wait. So and that's the mm. sauce and the bacon chicken things. It's, it's not, not as powerful as licorice. See now I'm getting the flavour. Mm -hmm. Well done for trying it though, for no light and licorice. It's a bit strong for me, but the, the initial flavour no was strong nice. enough for me. Like oh, 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 oh look what a sporky brandy snacks. Oh, oh I love, I love a brandy snack. The cream. They're a fourth generation family business based in Bright House. West Yorkshire, still using some of the original baking equipment to create these versatile and delicious biscuits. Their biscuits are have them. They are amazing. Like dog treats. Uh, this makes me think of... Yes, they like dog treats. This, this, this makes this. me think of Christmas yes. when I was younger because yes. it was like a major treat. It was. We would get a brandy snap with squirty cream. Yes, right through. Oh, right through the middle. Oh, there's no cream. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right. What does it taste Texture, like? perfection, flavour. Mm, mm, mm. Now it's thicker than we're used to. Okay. I can just imagine what that's like the cream. Mm. Oh. Like what? a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste though? I'm not having Still good. Still good. Oh, it reminds me. What? Like a caramel apple? The trophy round your trophy apple. Mm. What mm. did you think, Brooke? It's alright. Mm. I like that. Yep. It's very different to the shop bought ones that they get up mm -hmm. here. That is nice. Seabrook! Oh, oh. I didn't realise they were Yorkshire. Seabrook Crisps is a Yorkshire institution, even if it may have dropped the lovingly made in Yorkshire slogan that has a following across the globe. Don't know. It is thought to be one of the first ever manufactured crinkle cut crisps. Oh! Very ah, salty first, right? Um, what's this? Mm. Definitely like them. Um, oh, okay. Nice flavour, nice texture. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Let me try the vinegar ones. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh, I like the vinegar. Mm -hmm. The salt and vinegar ones, it's like real vinegar. Mm -hmm. I love them. No, it's not like vinegar flavouring. Mmm. No like vinegar? No. You know what? I'm pleasantly surprised because I've seen them in the shop and just thought that they would be like the cheap relative to walkers if you like. Not at all. But they're not, they're really, the really nice. nice. But I love the yeah. salt and vinegar. Well we tried the cheese and onion while we're here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Mm. <laughs> wow, they've got instant flavour. Mm. And yeah, I'll tell you what else I like the texture. Oh, oh we've got a mug. Nice. That's so good. <laughs> right, Haribo Star Mix. Do you know I've never had a Haribo Star Mix? Are you having a what? Honestly, My favourite Haribo is the milk bottles. Is My favourite Haribo is. <laughs> The wing because it makes me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> and and also I like the wings and the gold bears because it looks like it's a wing when they go swimming so they don't drown. <laughs> <laughs> I love it.
ready for getting the next package. I like this game. <laughs> if you like to then you should have put up the on it. <laughs> I'm gonna have a jelly baby, but it's a rubber jelly the baby. The rubber jelly babies are nice to be yeah. shaped. I think, I think my problem is not having teeth, it just kind of moves about my mouth, I can't chew it. Yorkshire Mixtures. The home of the famous Yorkshire Mixture, Joseph Dobson is, Joseph Dobson's is a fascinating story of a family owned business, which has prospered to become one of the largest family owned confectionery business in Yorkshire. The company continues to manufacture high quality boiled sweets and lollipops, no. The traditional recipes meeting all the challenges of a 21st century marketplace but also still maintaining the old fashioned tastes and traditions of the 19th and 20th centuries. The famous Yorkshire mixtures were named entirely by accident as it is said that one day while Thomas John, Joseph's son, was carrying a tray of sweets downstairs, he slipped and fell and when he looked down the, York the jumbled mess of sweets he was inspired to create the now famous Yorkshire mixture by, our, by variety. Very good. They look very traditional. They look right. like the boiled sweets that you get yeah. in the jar. Right. Oh, you can smell the aniseed. So I wonder what's what. Aniseed? Well, I'll just have a lucky dip. That's aniseed. Oh, oh. aniseed oh, I love that. What I love the what? boiled sweet. That's oh, a light what, one what, that what, I had. What do I get? The aniseed's brilliant. Okay. Yeah, I want to try there's the other yellow, ones later on. Yeah, there's lemon one. There's lemon one. Get a fiver if you pronounce this right. Right. Come on, look at it. Mwam. Nope. Mwam. Mwam. Fiver! It's only for Gran. We know because we watched the Big Bang Theory and they used to sponsor them. Mwam. More sweets from the Yorkshire Horrible Factory. So we've got Malam pinballs. Oh, they're good. Right. I didn't realise that, Mar that Malam was horrible. Yeah. Is we interrupt this programme for some Yorkshire facts. Around One, Lonely Planet voted Yorkshire third in the top 10 world regions, behind destinations in India and Australia. The guide mentions Yorkshire's rugged moorland, heritage homes and cosy pubs. Yorkshire! has nearly a third of the total area of wow. national parks in England. The North York Moors, most of the Yorkshire Dales, and part of the Peak District, covering a fifth of the region's land area. Flamborough Head has the biggest underwater chalk reef in Europe, extending underwater for up to six kilometres out to sea, while the deep in Hull is home to Europe's only sawfish and the world's oh. first submarine. Four. Scarborough hey, hey. is Britain's first seaside resort and has been welcoming families for over 360 years. We love Scarborough, don't we? My elbow hates Scarborough. Yes, we visited Scarborough Hospital because we thought Abby had broken an arm. <laughs> Yorkshire Day is celebrated every year on the 1st of August. Yorkshire so hosted the Grand Depart of the Tour de, of the Tour de France in 2014. What, can we stop <coughs> for a break to try these yes. while well, you're reading? Right. Because I've never tried Tang Plastics. What? And this is time Are you having a giggle? Honestly? You're honestly so uneducated. <laughs> oh! A tangy. You open it. Don't you? I'm no one. <laughs> that is one of the balls. <laughs> Like sherbet in the middle. I don't, I don't like it. That's nice. I like it's it. It's really orange. Mm. I like another flavour of it. Was a good one. I'd like it if it was a little less orange. All right, I'm going to try a well, pinball while, while you're reading the next part. The unofficial anthem mm -hmm. of Yorkshire is a popular folk song. Well, Come on, back. It clapped more bat tat mm. on it play more without a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I've reached the middle. <laughs> They're nice. Yeah. I like them. Those pinball things. Oh, we've got a happy cola zing. Cola and... Let me see the other one. Cola, the strawberry twist. Mm -hmm. I'll try yeah, I don't like the texture of that sort of thing. I think it's like the cheese strings one short bit. Yeah. Oh. Just nice. It's alright. See, I don't mind the flavour of them, but it's the texture I'm not keen on. Mm. Don't you mind the texture? Can I get back to my fat? <laughs> 
Meadow Hall in Sheffield is Europe's largest shopping complex. I've heard a lot of people, vloggers that go there. Eureka! In Halifax is the UK's very first National Children's Museum. York Minster is the largest Gothic goth, cathedral in Northern Europe. It took 252 years to build in its present form and contains 128 medieval stained glass windows. And that's and amazing, that's some technical. Hard Draw Force is England's largest single drop waterfall. Oh. Where about it? Hard Draw Force near Falls? Oh, it says near Falls. I think it's just a Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was French. <laughs> 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 Yorkshire can lay claim to have England's highest pub, the Tan Hill Inn, at 1,732 feet above sea level. Wow. Only in Britain you can brag about having the highest pub. <laughs> Surprise, it's not Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> if Yorkshire were an independent country, it would have finished an incredible 12th on the league table in the 2012 Olympics. The county's most well-known delicacy by far is the Yorkshire pudding. Which you love. Obsessed. This is not all there is to Yorkshire food though. <laughs> Wensleydale cheese originates yeah, like from that. here. Yeah. The Rhubarb Triangle is situated in West Yorkshire and the Magpie Cafe in Whitby offers award-winning fish and chips. We're well, almost <laughs> finished, we have two drinks left. Oh, yes. Is Brooke <laughs> brave enough to try dandelion and bird dog? Oh. And bitter shandy without getting drunk? Ben Shaw's dates back to 1871. That would be a bit out of date. <laughs> 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 that one was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and was originally delivered around Huddersfield, West Yorkshire by Ben with his trusty shire horses, Bonnie, Blossom, Cherry and Dick. <laughs> <laughs> the brand put the first canning line into the UK in the 1950s. I tried down the wine and burnt up. Right. 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 <laughs> right. Oh, that's so sweet. That smells weird. Right. Oh, look at this. I went to the Bean Boozle Challenge on the beans. Alright. Oh. It's alright. Tastes like licorice. Smells like licorice. I don't uh -huh. mind that. I don't mind that at all. Well, it's like perno. Right, That's why I like right, it. We'll ben Shaw's here. Bitter Shandy. This is the last thing we have. That's quite pleasant. Right, drop. <laughs> that tastes like real shandy. Uh, it does. Mm. That tastes that. That smells like beer. Look, because it definitely tasted like a perno. That's nice. I like that? Mm, yeah. So what was everybody's favourite? <laughs> we well, love New Yorkshire. We do. We love New Yorkshire. Either the corn highball, the Vietnam. <laughs> Vietnam. Vietnam. <laughs> oh yeah, they were really good. Oh uh, Yorkshire, we love you. No more shandy for rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the yummy comb was my yeah. favourite. Uh -huh. I like that and I like the parking. Oh and I like the brand. I liked it all. The only thing I didn't like was the licorice root and the licorice things. I think my favourite was the licorice root. The crisps, the crisps were good. Even the lamb ones were nice. Yes. I think I'd say yeah. the only thing I didn't like the was the Yorkshire. parking. Score the box out of 10, I would definitely give it a 9. Because uh, I would probably, I would have 90% of everything that's in there. I would probably I give it an 8. I give it a 9.5. Oh. No, point 0.8 for the badge. Seven or an eight. A seven or they an eight. They literally well brought done. us back to Now, a, a seven or an eight for Brute, Brute is, is huge. very good. <laughs> All I can say is... That was brilliant. Fun. Thank you. Thank you so Been much, like... Paul and June well, and kids, well, for sending this box to us. No, on. really, really impressed with this box. Thank you so much. I mean, this. All, all the little detail we... much. That was I brilliant. love everything. Go yes, yes. A round of that applause. Bit, so yes, thank you so much, Paul and June, for that. I hope you enjoy our box as well. Link for It's a Sexy Thing will be in the description box below. Please, please go <coughs> over, check out their channel and their other half of this video when they're trying out the Scottish um, treats and see how they get on with them. Thanks Mer so much for watching this, everyone. I hope it isn't too much of a calamity. But we have really, really enjoyed filming this. Thanks so much, everyone. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye!